let's look at some of these pictures you've got with you today and tell me what significance they have to you. But this is my daughter, Malia, and she turned 15 this year. This is a picture of my new husband. <laughs> my wonderful husband, Harvey, my daughter, Megan, and my daughter, Sarah Kate, and she's 11. This is my family. This is my husband, my daughter, Emily, my daughter, Hannah, and this is our foster daughter, and we are in the process of trying to adopt her. I'm gonna show you something, and I'm not sure if you've seen this recently or if you've ever even seen them. Is that me? That's you. It's my boob. That's your mammogram. Just so thankful for this. I mean, if, if I had not had a mammogram, you know, things would be very different right now. This mammogram, it changed my life. I just thank God for getting this done. Because things could have turned out a lot differently for me. 75% of women diagnosed have no family history. You have no family history. I have no family history of breast cancer. This, this came out of the blue. It was an absolute shock. There was no history of breast cancer in my family, so I didn't think it applied to me. Triple negative is an aggressive tumor. It's, um, it grows fast. It's something that shows up from one mammogram to the next where there was nothing before. Now you've got a serious cancer to deal with. If I had waited, um, until I felt it or my OBGYN felt it, it would have been huge. It would have, my, di my prognosis would not be what it is because I had the screening mammogram. If we think about getting your mammograms every other year, if I had not had it this year, I would be a year further from knowing that I had cancer. I had my mammograms yearly. I didn't have, uh, radiation or chemotherapy because early detection. When it's in the docs and has not broken out into the breast tissue, uh, you have no symptoms at all. You feel nothing, there's no lumps to feel. You couldn't feel my lump. It had to be found with a mammogram. To be able to catch it in that stage and then not have to go through radiation or chemo because of that, just by simply having a mammogram. If I had waited another year to have my mammogram, I am not sure I'd be here talking to you. I found it early, and so we have every opportunity to kick this thing to the curb. There's this governmental task force that's saying, well, maybe women don't need to be screened quite so frequently. Maybe it's starting at the age of 50 and every other year. My mammogram was completely clear. A year later, I had stage two triple negative breast cancer. This mammogram saved my life. Had I waited till I was 50, I might not be here. If it had not been for me getting that mammogram done, my odds would be very different right now. If I had not had a mammogram by the age of 40, I would probably be dead right now. Who says that 50 is early enough? You let one of your relatives, your mother or your sister, wait and see what happens. It's going to be a lot of lives lost if we wait until it's 50 before we can get our first exam. Early detection is what will save lives. Why would people keep early detection out of the hands of women? That just means more of us are going to die. I take this really seriously. If I had waited another year, or God forbid I had decided to wait until 50, um, there's a really good chance this thing would have killed me. If we follow this new recommendation, 6,500 more women a year will die. I love shit matter. And that's your, your mother, your sister, your daughter. I'm sorry, how much is a life worth? How much is a life worth? I have family that I want to see, and I have things that I have yet to do. <laughs> But because we caught it so early, because of that mammogram, I'm here today to share this time with my husband, with my family. The percentage of lives that you would save is not worth the cost. So my life isn't worth it, and everyone else who's under 50, their life isn't worth it. I mean, that's, that's crazy. And because of this picture, I get to keep this.